Hello. In the last video, we went over how filter sets allow you to control exactly the information that's being presented within an actual report within Calibre Mind. Today, what we're going to cover is actually how you can create and build your own filter sets, save them either as a default, as a private, or a public filter. Now, the way to do this is that over here on the right, the first thing you want to do, let's say I want to create a new private filter, a set of filters that only I want to see because this is how I want to view information on this report. If you want to create a new default filter or private filter, come in here, set the standard filters the way you want them. In this case, I want to reset this to current year. I want to group this by industry. And then what I want to be doing is looking at just specific industries within the subset. So I'm going to look for an industry filter on company. I'm going to select that and I'm going to say I only want to see, for instance, professional services and maybe software. There we go, software and services. And I can apply that. And you'll just to kind of test and see if this is working. And you can see it is, it's narrowed my data down. Now let's say I want to also add a filter that allows me to only see or look at another grouping of information. Let's say I only want to look at data and information coming from within specific departments, right? Or I want to give the user the ability to set that department whenever they come into support. So I'll just go ahead and add that department filter here. Now note that I can set a filter in two different ways. I can set it so that it specifically has value set, or I can add a filter without any value set so that it persists whenever I come in and look at this filter set but it doesn't necessarily have a preset value, enabling the user to sort of set the values they want at that point in time. Now I'm gonna go up here to the filter set and I'm gonna hit the plus button and I'm gonna give this a name, right? And I'm gonna call this you know, demo filter by industry and department. So I'm creating a name of the filter and I can save this filter either as public or as private. In this case, I'm going to select private. The difference is that a public filter is a filter that anybody in the organization can see. A private filter is one that only I see when I look in, at that list. And I could also decide if I want this to be my default filter whenever I come into this report. Note that public only is available to administrators or above within the Cloud My system. And so now I'll save this. So now let me just go back out. I'm going to just go to the org default, just kind of reset the filters and show you how that filter set works. When I come in here now, so now I'm kind of reset all of the data within here. Now I'm going to come out here, find that filter I just created, filters by industry and department, and I can select that. And you'll see that it is now set the filters, those industry filters, and I can change them if I want. And it's added a department filter on here, even though I'm not actually setting it. I'm going to go ahead and actually select marketing within here and hit apply. And you can see that now I'm looking at this subset of data, two specific industries and a specific department within those industries. Now, if I wanted to make this my default, I could go back up here and I could edit it. And I could then say, set this as my default. So whenever I came into the system, this would be the default I had. Or I could also potentially turn it into a public filter. If I wanted to remove the filter, I would just come in here. I've got it selected. And I'll hit the little delete icon up here in the upper right. Now, if I say, say I wanted to create a filter or a set of filters that could be used by a bunch of people within the organization. To do that, I'm going to set up the filter set the way I want that, the way I want to. And I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to kind of reset this again. 
actually, if I hit reset, it'll just always go to my default. And I'm going to start to create that filter set. Let's say that I want to be looking at data. Again, let's say I always want to look at this year's data. I want to aggregate it by quarter. I want to group it maybe by channel, for instance. Use a different attribution model in this case. I don't know, W-shaped. And then I want to select a couple of filters to add on to this that people can always see and have available, but maybe aren't set. So say I want to set up industry. I would just add the industry filter. I want to set up the ability to look at um, maybe to take those channels and kind of always filter them down. And then last, let's go to maybe the opportunity type down here. And I want to be able to, you know, select whether or not it's closed one, open or lost. At this point in time, I've kind of created the filters that I want to be on this new filter set. I go up here and hit the plus button. I give this, for instance, uh, this may be a specific business unit you want to look at, or maybe this is your campaign manager report. I'm going to set this as public and then save that out. So now, Anytime anyone comes into the organization, let's go ahead and reset again here, they can find that public campaign manager report. It brings it up. It sets all these channels. If they hit apply, it's just going to apply all those defaults. But those filters will persist and allow them to come over here and say, oh, now I want to go and set the industries I want to look at. Here, I want to go back to professional services. And maybe I only want to look at new business, right? And maybe I only want to look at specific channels, my G2 channel, for instance, right? And I could hit apply, and that'll then add those filters and save them and modify the report. So it's very easy with the new filter sets to create a grouping of filters that's appropriate for specific individuals in your organization, save them under a filter set, then make them very easy for those individuals to find them right here inside of the filter set drawer.